How you doing? This is Jake. Uh, this is my uh, movie review for Buried, starring uh, Ryan Reynolds. Um, Ryan, Re Ryan Reynolds' character plays a truck driver in Iraq. He um, is not military at all, and he gets ambushed and taken hostage and is buried alive in a wooden coffin. Um, there is no scenes outside of the coffin. And the only other characters in the movie are voices on the phone, which he has inside the coffin with him. That's one of his... He has a phone, a camera, a flashlight, and a glow stick. Um, Ryan Reynolds' performance in this was amazing. It was his, To me, it was his best performance to date. Um, the score, which... When the movie is just taking place in this one confined space... Music has to come into play to me to keep up the tension and suspense because it can get boring because there's no movement really except for, you know, very limited, obviously, because he's in a coffin. And I hated the music. It, was, it just did not seem to go right or with the film and, and what was happening. Except for at the very end, it was good, but um, this movie was completely unconventional obviously, because it's taking place inside of a coffin, and then the, the complete blackouts or something you never see on screen. I mean, when I say blackouts, I mean blackouts with no talking, no sound, nothing, just black. Um, the other thing in the ending is completely shocking. You, I can't even believe the movie got made, to tell you the truth, with, because that script took a lot of balls. Um, and the director, uh, I can't think of his name, it's like, like a Spanish name or something, something. Um, but the way it's ended is completely unconventional, not your Hollywood type happy ending. Um, I'm gonna give this movie uh, eight and a half out of ten, and uh, Ryan Reynolds with just killed that movie. Amazing, amazing performance. I also got a bunch of new DVDs today. Um, one movie that I have never seen, I am a big Jeremy Renner fan, but I have never seen Neo Ned, and, uh, Jeremy Renner plays a, uh, white supremacist, and he meets a black woman in, uh, a mental hospital played by Gabrielle Union, and he thinks that she is a reincarnation of Adolf Hitler, so that should be pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to it. I just wanted to throw these out here. I got these for two bucks a piece at the pawn shop where I buy movies. Right on. Got Pineapple Express. Got Pineapple Express. An 8 out of 10. 500 Days of Summer. An 8 out of 10. Big Lebowski. 9 out of 10. Bad Lieutenant. I'm going to give a 7.5 out of 10. Gamer. I'm going to give a 6.5 out of 10. Perfect Getaway. I love this movie. I'm going to get a 9 out of 10. And Wolf Creek. I'm going to give a 7 out of 10. That's it. I'll be back with another review. Peace.